Today we're going to be learning Day Tripper. Okay, here we go. So it's on string six. And just a little um, thought. Every time I teach a Beatles song, I realise how hard some of their riffs were. Songs come across when you hear them is, yeah, that sounds easy. When you try to actually play a Beatles song and all the chords, they're a lot harder than you think. So, But the first riff, um, if you can learn it, um, it's actually played five times before the change, but today I'm just going to teach it twice. And then we're going to do the change, and then I'm going to show you the chords, okay? So here we go. It goes string six, zero, three, four, using finger two and three. And string five, fret two. And string four. Okay, so. Now open string 4 after that, so it goes. Back to 2. So here we go. Okay. Then open, then string 4, fret 2. Open and back to 2 on string 5. Then 4. Fret four, then back to two, string five. Okay, let's just get to that point. Okay. Nice close up, hang on. So it's got that two open two. String four, two, open two, back on there, so it's then four on string four, and then back to two, then open and two at the end, so so it's just at the end it's got that open two, so let's just do that really slow. To, um, just look up the tab on Google and after you look at this and then print it out I can send it to you as well so let's just have one more look at that and it just goes down a string now after that Now we're on string five, zero, three, four, fret four, two, same pattern. Underneath it, fret two, open, two, four, back to two, open, two, on string three. So. Top riff, throw three, four, two, two underneath it, open, two, 
four. Okay. And back to two. Open two. Okay, and um, the only way to really get through that is to have the tab with you, okay? So let's just have a look at the chords, okay? So it starts with an E7. Got a good reason. E7. So an E major is this one. Actually, just play the E major and then take that finger off and you've got an E7. So. Got a good reason. Taking the easy way out. Then it's an A7. It's just here. And you can play your A. And then take the middle finger out. And then it goes. Got a good reason. Remember, don't touch string six on your A's. Got a good reason. Back to E7. But taking the easy way out. Okay, then we've got this uh, F sharp. So with an F sharp, it's on fret two, barring fret two. Okay, these two fingers, you have this E shape for a lot of bar chords with your sharps. You got this. Okay. She was a day tripper, one way ticket, yeah. So, and then we got the A after that. Then we got to go so, A major. So long. G sharp, which is fourth fret. To find out. And C sharp, which is fourth fret and down a string. And then up to B, seventh fret. I found out. Let's just go through the chords. So we've got E7. Because you need to really, the best way would be to print this out. So we've got, you need to learn an E7. You need to learn an A7. You need to learn an F sharp. Okay. So now, now you need to learn an A. Well, you know an A. You can play an A like this. You need to learn a G sharp, which is fourth fret. And C sharp minor. It's just down on string two, four and three here, and then up to B. And B has the um the E shape. So here's the E shape, and you're on the seventh fret. Thanks guys. I hope that um that helps. So just one more, just look really clear. Look at that. So just uh yeah. See you later, guys. Thanks very much um for tuning in to Steve Guitar Lessons. Bye.